and over books. Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a challenge. And so we're doing something called the first and last challenge. And it's naming something in a specific area that's first and then something that's last. And so we picked five different little areas that are book related in our house or on Goodreads or something like that, that we can show you the first thing and the last thing. So it'll be fun. Okay, so we're gonna start with shelves. So we're gonna do the one behind me. <laughs> we will do the first book over here. So first book top left and then last book bottom right. So the first book on my shelf and the last book on my shelf. So the first book, I actually can reach it right here is the Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I haven't read this yet, but oh my gosh, how pretty is it? It's just completely reflecting off my lights, all that gold. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, yeah, so this one. Okay, last one is um, A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. Haven't read this one yet either. Okay, next one, <laughs> Lindsay said, let's do book carts. I was like, okay, forgetting I have three of them. I have three book carts, so... Um, Let's just do the one I'm looking at right now is my gifted cart. So we talked about like the first one on the top and the last one on the bottom. So let me go grab them. It's hard to like, I don't want to move my camera and do all that stuff. So let me just go grab the first and the last. Okay, so first on my gifted cart. Now this was a little tricky. I just went based on it facing forward because I do have books in the back of it as well. So I was like, do I go top on the front, bottom on the back, or top on the front, I don't know. I just did top on the front, bottom on the front because I can see them and I could get to them easier. So, first on the top. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. <sighs> Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This was sent to me by Glenda um, back in 2019. 2019, this book was sent to me. And I did start this book. I still have the bookmark in it. I read up to page 206. I read this much and then I ended up putting it down. Not because I wasn't enjoying it. I just, it was one of those things where I think it wasn't the right time. And this is something I'm definitely going to have to go, like I'm going to have to restart it <laughs> because I started reading it in 2019. I started this not too long after I received it, um, but it just wasn't the right time for me. And this is huge. It is a huge book. It is a standalone fantasy about dragons. I was enjoying what I was reading when I was reading it. It just really wasn't the right time and I was having a hard time just concentrating and <sighs> so, um, but I will get back to this at some point. I will have to start it over. It's still sitting on my cart. I'm still excited to read it. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh man, I uh, here I go. I have to call myself out. And then the last one on my shelf is a book by Harlan Coben. This is Caught and this was sent to me from Melinda, who is always so incredibly kind. Um, and I have never read a Harlan Coben book. This is nice and short though. Like I could get through this really quickly. So um, I'm gonna need to do that soon. But um, yeah, my mom really likes Harlan Coben as an author and she has always told me I need to read his books. So I have one sitting here and I think I have some on my Kindle too, but Melinda did send me this one. Thank you. Okay, next one, we're gonna bring up Goodreads for this. Um, so we're gonna do first and last on a couple of Goodreads shelves. The first one we're gonna do on our red shelf. So what was the first book I added to my red shelf, which means the first book I documented on Goodreads and then the last one that I just finished, which I can tell you. Uh, so let's see, I need to go to my list here. Okay, I'm not gonna screen show you anything. <laughs> You're gonna have to take my word for it. But because the last one that I read was a five-star prediction and I don't want you to see my reading yet. So, I mean, if I'm if you follow me on Goodreads, you see it, but you know, I'm not gonna say it out for the masses. Okay, first one that I ever documented on Goodreads was Digital Fortress by Dan Brown. And I gave that one four stars. I remember really liking that book. Um, I read that when we were in Tucson. So yeah, but that's the first one I documented. And then the last one is The Lucky One by Nicholas Brooks. And then um, the next one we're gonna do is our TBR. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do own TBR or if I'm gonna do want to read TBR. Those are not books I own though. So I'll do the owned TBR and see what pops up first, uh, what my oldest one on here is. 
Okay, so the first book on my own TBR is Leaving Time by Jodi Picot. And then the last one that I just added is The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn. Okay, and then um, our final one we're gonna do is our first and last recommendations. I can tell you which one I last recommended. I remember specifically recently recommending somebody to someone. Um, but my first recommendation that I remember giving is a little tricky. I There was one book that I remember pushing on a lot of people, so I'm just gonna say that one. And that is The Help by Katherine Stockett. Um, I love that book, like many people. <laughs> um, but I remember telling multiple people they need to read that book after I read it because it was so good. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that one because that's the first one that I really remember like being passionate about sharing. And then the last book I recommended was One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I recommended that to my best friend. I told her she wanted a book over the summer that I think that she would really like it. So we'll see if she ends up picking it up. Um, but that's the last one I recommended. Okay, guys, that is it. That was fun. Just kind of first and last. I'm um, talking about some books that I may not normally talk about on my channel, but that I either have in my possession or on Goodreads. So that was kind of fun. Um, make sure you go check out Lindsay and see what her answers are going to be on this as well. I can't wait to see what she's going to be talking about. And we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.